Welcome to another Catfish Chalk Talk. Can you believe we've already done four of these and we're working on a few more here? I hope you're enjoying it. Again, I'm Brad Durek up on the Red River. You already saw that part in the open. Uh, these are lessons based on my books, Cracking the Channel Catfish Code and Advanced Catfishing Made Easy, both available at my website, redrivercatfish.com, or at Amazon, Bottom Dwellers Tackle, or Catfish Connection. So last week we got a little bit long-winded about conservation. Again, very near and dear to me. But this time, we're going to go to our go to our whiteboard. We're going to talk about a concept that I came up with when I was working on different situations. It called lateral movement. Let me move my camera up here so you can see the little board. Lateral movement has been very misunderstood with the readers of Catfish Code. And to make it make more sense, I've kind of gone into... Uh, on versus off current. Lateral movement doesn't mean going upstream and downstream necessarily to find spots. It's if you have a very productive area within the river, as conditions change, those fish will move up out of the current versus into the current, into the wood versus out of the wood. And a lot of people are making it bigger than what it actually is. So if we move over here, forgive my shadow, to my terrible drawing river and as I always say my rivers run north because the red runs north but basically what lateral movement is is if the fish are in a pattern where they're aggressive as the water hits that outside bend there's going to be a heavier current here so you want to fish here but should it be more of a say off current, you know, there was a big front, the fish are a little bit negative. It's as simple as maybe tucking up to the bank here or moving over to the inside bend. Those fish don't necessarily go far. They don't say, I don't feel good, I'm going to move 10 miles north or south. They look for spots out of the current or in the current. So if this is your main current here on the outside, when they're aggressive, you want to fish here. If they're feeling a little sluggish, they might move up here where the current is a little lighter on before it hits the outside bend in a, in a tree pile, move up there. Or if they're in a inside corner, if they're negative, you'll want to fish the V on the back of the inside corner when they're negative. But here's, a, here's another one. I'm going to grab my eraser here. We're going to start this over. Get my river back. If you're fishing here, and your main channel's right down the middle here, Lateral movement can be as, as simple as when they're negative, you're fishing here off the back of the inside corner, casting to the bank in the shallows before the drop, to when they turn on, simply casting to the middle of the river on the break of the main current. That's what I mean by lateral movement. And that's not necessarily big changes, and that's why I said at the beginning, I've kind of changed the terminology to on current versus off current. If they're aggressive in feeding, in rivers, they're going to go to the on current. If they're not so aggressive and kind of sluggish, they're going to go to the off current. And they're going to sit there and they're going to not necessarily, ex they're going to look for ways to not expend energy. In other words, they're probably not going to feed. I hope that makes sense. Lateral movement and understanding it is a real key to making fine adjustments on a day of fishing. And this can change throughout the day, this can change throughout the week. So until next time for another Catfishing Chalk Talk, I'm Brad Durick.